Someday you will die But I'll be close behind They'll follow you into the dark No blinding light Or tunnels to gates of white Just our hands clasped so tight Waiting for the hint of a spark Why yeah. hast thou been, sister? Killing swine a drum, a drum, like fat dot com. The, the weird sisters and posters of the sea and land. The sister gone and mouse and mouse. Thrice to mine and thrice to mine. And thrice to kill to make a line. The jars wound up. So foul and fair day I have not seen. How far is it called for us? What are these? So withered and so wild in their attire that they look not like the inhabitants of the earth? What are you? All hail Macbeth, Thane of Gladys! All hail Macbeth, Thane of Cawdor! All hail Macbeth, that shall be keen hereafter! Good sir, why do you start? And seem to fear things that sound so fair. If you can look into the brains of time and tell me which seed will grow and which will not, speak then. For I beg, neither your favors nor your hate. Hail! 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 Lesser than Macbeth and greater! Not so happy, yet much happier. Thou shalt get kings, though thou be none. So all hail Macbeth and Banquo. All hail Macbeth and Banquo! Say, you imperfect speakers, tell me more. By Siddle's death, I know that I am Thane of Glamis. But how of Cawdor? The king of Cawdor lives, a prosperous gentleman. Speak, I charge you. <laughs> Whither are they banished? Into the air, would they had stayed. Have such things here happened? Or have we eaten of the insane root which takes the reason prisoner? Your children shall be kings. You shall be kings. And then of Cawdor too. Is it so not so, to the self same tune and words? Duncan was going to attend a banquet at Macbeth's house and Macbeth wasn't paying any attention to anything that anyone said that night and he kept whispering to Banquo like the whole time and then he handed me a letter that he said was very urgent and he told me to take it to Lady Macbeth. Does seem to have thee crowned withal. The king comes here tonight. Thou art mad, say it. It's not thy master with him. So please you, it is true. Our thane is coming. Give him some day, he brings great news. Great promise, worthy Cador, thy letters have transported me beyond this ignorant presence. My dearest love, Duncan comes here tonight. And when goes this? Tomorrow, as he purposes. Oh, never shall sun the morrow see. Only look up clear to alter favor ever is to fear. Leave all the rest to me. Macbeth entered the ladies' room after a while. Oh, baby. And they talked until, until King Duncan, who was staying at their house, arrived. Long after King Duncan was in bed, Macbeth was up and walking about. I saw him talking to Banquo, but I couldn't hear what they were saying. Later on, I saw Macbeth walk into King Duncan's chamber. <laughs> King Duncan. That which hath made them drunk hath made me bold. What hath quenched them hath given me fire. I have drugged their process. That death and nature do contend about them, that they live or die. Who's there? What hope? Alack, I'm afraid they have awakened and tis not done. Had he not resembled my father as he slept, I had done it. My husband! I have done the deed. Did not speak. When? <laughs> now. This is a sorry sight. A foolish thought to say a sorry sight. I will go no more. I'm afraid to think what I have done. What? Infirm of purpose, give me the daggers. For it must seem that guilt. Knock. Whence is that knocking? How is it with me that every noise appalls me? 
What hands are these? Ha! Ah, they pluck out mine eyes! My hands are of your color, yet I shame to wear a heart so white. Knock. I hear a knocking at the south entry. Retire we to our chamber. A little water clears us of this deed. About half an hour later, there was a knocking at the door. It went on for a while. A long while. I don't know why it took so long for the porter to answer it. He was probably talking to himself. Again. Again! Knock. Here's the knocking indeed. If a man were a porter of Hellgate, he should have all turning the key. Knock. Anon, anon. I pray you remember the porter. Was it so late, friend, ere you went to bed that you do lie so late? Faith, sir, we were carousing till the second talk. And drink, sir, is a great provoker of three things. Which three things does drink especially provoke? Marry, sir, nose painting, sleep, and urine. <coughs> it's like master stirring. Our knocking has awakened him. Here he comes. Is the king stirring, worthy thane? Not yet. He didn't command me to call timely upon him. Right, I'll time. bring you to him. That's I'll make so bold to call, for it is my limited service. Goes the king hence today. He does. The night has been unruly. It was a rough night. Indeed. <clears throat> horror! 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 What's, What's the, the matter? matter? Murder is still hence the life of the building! What? The life? I mean you, His Majesty? Do not bid me speak. Look, and then speak for yourselves. Awake, awake, ring the alarm bell. Murder and treason. Ring the alarm bell. What's the business that such a hideous trumpet shall call to par parley the speakers of this house? Speak, speak! Our royal master's murdered. What? In my house? Had I but died an hour before, would have missed this chance and lived a blessed time. Those of this chamber, as it seemed, had done it. Their, ha their hands and their faces were bad with blood, along with their daggers, which unwiped we found upon their pillows. What? Help me. Look to the lady. Macbeth said that he killed the chamberlains out of fury, but Macduff seemed kind of suspicious. I might want to stop it. <laughs> You're not done. Um, <laughs> they had a nice little meeting. They had a board. nice little meeting, and Duncan's sons ran away. I came to the palace when the alarm not bell rang to see what was happening. Huh? I saw Duncan's sons run out of the castle looking suspicious. Shortly thereafter, Lord Ross came out and told me that Duncan's sons were under suspicion for murder and that um, Macbeth had fled. The night after the murder, Macbeth was even more distressed than ever. He asked me if anyone had been to see him, and sure enough, there were two strange men waiting. He ordered for me to receive them and bring them to him. I went out and did this. Yeah. The Lady Macbeth, also distressed, called me to find her husband and bring her to him. They talked for a while and sent me away. Then the two strange men left in a very suspicious way. I know you're on the breeze. Sit down. At first and last, the hearty welcome. Thanks to your majesty. Sorry. There's blood upon their face. Tis Banquo's then. Ah, better he without than thee within. 
My lord, his throat is cut, tis I did to him. Most royal sir, Fleance is escaped. Ah, then comes my fit again, else I was perfect. But Banquo's safe. My lord, he lies in a ditch. Thanks for that. Get me gone. Sweet remembrance, sir. Gentlemen, arise. His highness is not well. Sit, worthy friends. My lord is off to us. The fit is another Are you a man? Aye, and a bold one. This is the very painting of your fear. When all is done, you look but on a stool. Prithee, see there, behold. What, quite unmanned in folly? If I stand here, I see him. Fie for shame. The blood hath been shed here now. This is more strange than a murder is. My worthy lord, your noble friends do lack you. I do forget. Come, let's sit down. I drink to the general joy of the whole table, and to our dear friend Banquo, whom we miss. Our duties and the pledge. Avant! Quit my sight! Let the earth hide thee! Think of this, good peers, as but a thing of custom. Unreal mockery, hence! Can such things be? What sights, my lord? Pray you speak not, he grows worse and worse. Good Thank night, you. and better health to all. A good farewell to all. A kind good night to all. It will have blood, they say. Blood will have blood. You like the season of nature, so come to sleep. Yes, we'll just sleep. Where are they? Gone? Come in! With the, without there. What's your grace's will? Saw you the weird sisters? No, my lord. Came they not by you? No, indeed, my lord. Macduff has fled to England. Fled to England? Aye, my lord. <laughs> All right, so you know, then I heard that Lord Banku would be murk, and so my I was like, it's like tearing me up, love. I was so distressed, I couldn't even sleep that night. So, you know, later on, I went, I went and took a walk down in the woods, you know, and I saw Linux. Stay around with some other bloke, you know, some other lord or something like that. And they were standing there like, saying that everybody was saying the Fleance, you know, Vancouver's son. They like killed him or something like that, and I think they're bloke crazy. You know, but then they were saying that really they think that Macbeth did it. So, you know, they call me Beth all these names and all this dish, and you know, Macduff, he's going over to England to like get, you know, some help to, to knock off Macbeth. So they're saying, well, now Macbeth's getting all mad about that, which I would too, bloke. Somebody trying to knock me off. I mean, what are you talking about? So, you know, my mum and like getting a war together, so they're saying. So I'm like, oh, whatever, you know, I keep walking through the woods, and then I see Macbeth. You know, I bow his lungs, I'm just walking around, you know, not well near, but then just walking really quick. So I'm like, hmm, what am I up to? So I follow him down through the woods, and man, then I see like these three old women. I'm like, what's going on? And they got beards on their face, love. You want to stab me? They got beards. And I'm like, what's going on, dude? Man, I got so thrown, I just, you know, I hard turn myself on back to the castle. You know, I hopped in my little fleece blanket and you know, I, have, I had a good nap. That's pretty much what happened. Oh, oh man. Christ the branded cat has news! Rice and once the hedge pick wine! Harpier cries, tis time, tis time. Round the mouth the cauldron new! In the poison entrails the row! Toad that under cool stone day the night has got thirty-one! Boil thou first in the charmed pot! Two to the wolf, 
biker through Trooper, <laughs> uh, which is Mummy Maud Gulf, of the Raven Salt Sea Shark, Root of Hemlock, Dig Die the Dark, Liver of a Blaspheming Jew, Gull of Goat and Slips of You, Slivered by the Moon's Eclipse, <laughs> Nose of Dirk and Darter's Lips. Uh, Something wicked this way comes. Open the locks, whoever knocks. How now, you black secret midnight hags? What is it you do? A thing without a name! I conjure you by that which you profess. However you come to know it, answer me. Even till destruction sicken, answer me to what I ask you. Speak! Speak! We'll answer! Say, is he rather hear it from us or from our master? Call them. Let me see them. For in a sound blood that hath eaten her non Pharaoh. Of high or low, low thy spell and often deathly show. Tell me thou unknown power. Macbeth, Macbeth, beware Macduff. Dismiss me, enough. Whatever thou art for thy good caution, thanks. But one word more. No. He will not be commanded. Macbeth, Macbeth, Macbeth. Be bloody, bold, and resolute, last to score in the power of man, for none of woman born shall harm Macbeth. Then live, Macduff! What need I fear of thee? Macbeth, Macbeth, Macbeth. Be lion meddled, proud, and take no care, who chafes, who frets, or where conspires are. Macbeth shall never vanquished be until great Burnham Wood to high Dunnesane Hill shall come against him. That will never be. Who can impress the forest, fit the tree, and fix his earthbound roots? Sweet bonements! And my heart talks to know one thing. Tell me, if your heart can tell me so much, shall vanquish issue reign in this king, ever reign in this king. Alright, so, you know, rumor had it that, like, you know, Macduff and old Ma Malcolm, you know, they're getting some of their boys together, some other blokes, and they're trying to phone knock an army up against Macbeth, you know, because they were all mad, you know, because he'd like knocking off everybody, like, right, and left or something like that. And so, meanwhile, Lady Macbeth, you know, she like, I feel all crazy, man. She is going loco, you don't understand, like, we don't even know what's going on. So, one of the gentlewomen of the house, you know, that helps care for the lady, she like, cast up the dog, she like, yo, dog, I need you to come down here right quick, if you don't mind. So he comes down there, you know, and he's sitting around, he's trying to observe the light, and she's not sleepwalking and whatnot. It's just, it's just not normal, man. It's not right. Don't know what's going on. I have two nights watched with you, but can perceive no truth in your report. When was it she last walked? Since his majesty went into the field, I have seen her rise from her bed, throw her nightgown upon her, unlock her closet, take forth paper, write upon it, read it, and afterwards seal it. And then again return to bed, and all this while in the most fast sleep. Here she comes. This is her very guise. And upon my life, fast asleep. Observe her, stand close. How came she by that light? Why, it stood by her. She has light by her continually. Tis her command. You see, her eyes are open. Aye, but their sense are shut. What is it she does now? Look how she rubs her hands. It is an accustomed action of her, seeing thus washing her hands. I have known her to continue in this quarter of an hour. Yet here's a spot! Hark, she speaks. I will set down what comes from her to satisfy her, my, the remembrance all the more strongly. Out spot! Out, I say! Who would have thought the man should have had so much blood in him? Do you mark that? The Thane of Fife had a wife. Where is she now? Which will these hands there be clean? Go to, go to. You have not known what you should not. She has spoke what she had not. I am sure of that. Heaven knows what she has known. Here's the smell of blood still. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. What a sigh is there. The heart is sorely charged. I would not have such a heart in my bosom for the dignity of the whole body. Well, well, well. Pray God it be, sir. This disease is beyond my practice. 
Yet I have known those which have walked in their sleep and have died holily in their beds. So good night. My mind she has mated and amazed my sight. I think, but dare not speak. Good night, good doctor. I saw the army led by Macduff coming towards the castle. They cut down branches to hide behind so that they were camouflaged. So I run outside after my lunch, and I see, I see I, I, an army of men, men, uh, ten thousand men, out there about to attack the castle. And I, I'm very scared, and so I walk and I tell Macbeth, there is a ten thousand men about to attack the castle, and he. He says, he, he acts just, you know, he doesn't care, like, like he, no one can ever defeat him, so, and he starts boasting of himself, and, uh, and, and so, uh, well, he, well, he starts to get ready for the battle, though he's not scared at all, and, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I hear a, a, a scream from, from Lady Macbeth's chamber, and I, I go and I, I check on her, and she is dead, I do not know how she is dead, but she, I find Lady Macbeth dead, and, and soon, soon after that, I started, and I must must prepare for the battle, and I had to get it over it, and, and and the battle began soon after that. Spare thy charm, for Macduff from the womb was untimely ripped. Ah! 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 me, shaved my head, and cut it off. Macduff made all the good nobles into lords, and Macduff himself was crowned king of Scotland. He ruled Scotland for a long time and became one of their best kings ever known. Scotland was once again a prosperous nation. Shall be king. 
fucked. <laughs> Actually, my show is fucked. <laughs> and then of Cardor too. To the With self same tune and dot worse. No. <laughs> they have informed for preparation. So please you. It is true. Our thing is coming tonight. Uh, give him great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, just walk in again, I guess. <laughs> Great clamors, worthy power. Thy letters has. Stop. <laughs> 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 you're walking down, it's like... <laughs> Enter again. Enter gracefully. Had he not resembled my father as he slept, I have done it. My husband! I have done the deed. Did not you speak? <laughs> when? When? You're like, what are you when? talking about? When? Now! I completely don't this part. Had he not resembled my father as he slept, I had done it. Happy <laughs> 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 I knew that. <laughs> uh, I have done the deed. Did not you speak? When? Now. This is a glorious life. Give me the daggers. I don't want to touch <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say knock, and you're like, when is that knock? How is it that everyone's involved in what in here? Ah! They fuck out my eyes. Okay. Ah! <laughs> it's censored. It's censored. It's censored. You know what you're doing? Heck no. yeah. Which is dead. Which, which is dead. The night has been unreal. If you know what I mean. <laughs> and what do I say? What? In my house? Yes, in your house. <laughs> <laughs> in your house. Okay, y'all are a little dejected because you just saw everybody being murdered, so you're not gonna come in. <laughs> <laughs> and so are their daggers, which we found the wiped upon their pillows. What? Help me! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a cue for you. <laughs> 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 Safe in a ditch he abides. Safe in a ditch he abides. Safe in a ditch he abides. Okay. He lies in a ditch. It is in a ditch that he abides. <laughs> it's in a ditch that he abides. Okay. Safe in a ditch he abides. Safe. Are we late? Most royal sir. <laughs> I don't remember that part. <laughs> I bet if it's royal sir or noble sir or noble man or noble <laughs> sir, please. If I stand here, I see him. Five for shame. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, that would have been so good. Her eyes are open. Aye, but their sins are shut. What is it she does now? Look at her, how she rubs her hands. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
not good. <laughs>